Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You joined me in my room, but I am about to head on off to the train station to catch the 11 a.m. train up to Boston because I have my second grad school visit this week. That's right, we're just rolling one after the other. If you guys have already seen my Boston University visit, then I literally got back like two days ago and now I am taking the train right back up to Boston to go visit Northeastern. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. I just got home from the gym, took a shower, got all nice and clean. Now I'm gonna finish getting ready and then gonna head on over to the train station. And then it's about an hour long journey up to South Station. And actually, just in case you didn't see my Boston University video, I think I'll introduce like the whole premise of a grad school visit again. So I can't speak for other majors, other PhD or master's programs, but I applied to multiple different chemical engineering and biomedical engineering PhD programs starting this fall and I was accepted into a good handful of them. And sometimes when you're accepted, you're invited to these grad visit weekends, or in this case, weekdays, because it's Monday today. And the whole point is they fly you out or bring you out to the campus. You meet with faculty, you meet with current students, and you just get acquainted with the campus, the area that the school is in. You're able to ask any and all questions. And a lot of the times there's really good food and really good drinks. So. I'm really excited. This is my second one, so I'm a little less nervous than I was for Boston University. I kind of know what to expect now, but I just wanted to fill you in because I know I had no idea what a grad school visit was when I started thinking that grad school might be the way that I was going to go. I feel like it's one of those things that you don't really hear about in terms of the grad school application process. Again, this is for like engineering specific PhDs. So yeah, that's what a grad visit is and heading on up to Northeastern. Yeah. Let's do it. We're here, we made it to the Hotel Westin, which is right next to Copley Square and the Prudential Center. So definitely a prime time location and a prime time room. This is absolutely a gorgeous part of the city. And with the sun setting right now, it's, it's gorgeous. I had a pretty crazy middle of the day just now. Once I arrived on Northeastern's campus via the subway, I grabbed a quick coffee because I definitely needed the caffeine at that point. And I found my way over to the engineering center where the check-in was happening. So checked in, got my little name tag and welcome folder and a little tote bag. And then they took us on over to their student center where they were having a little research PhD expo. So this was not just for us, but it was for the rest of the department too. All the engineering departments, they had a little research symposium going on. So PhD students had posters set up. This was a really cool way to see what the current research is that's happening at Northeastern. And also a really good way to make those initial introductions with the current and prospective grad students there. So I walked around for a little bit talk to a few of the students about their research and also ask them a few questions about the program. And I also had a little bit of popcorn because they had a fresh popcorn machine and they had Duncan catered. It was a really cool little event going on. After about an hour and a half there, we had a trolley tour set to take us around Boston for a couple of hours. I've lived close to Boston my whole life. Definitely been here more than a handful of times, but I've never done like the touristy little trolley tour or any tour of the city for that matter. So it was a really cool way to experience some of the parts of Boston that maybe I don't get to go to as often or that I just didn't know any like historical facts about. So it was really fun. I also got to chat with the other students at that point. Right now we're still grouped together with all the engineering disciplines. Tomorrow is when I'll break off into like chemi specific functions, but we had everybody on the trolley and it was a great, great time. And we're about caught up. I walked to the hotel with a few of the friends that I made. I have the next hour free because at 6.30, we have a dinner reception going on back on campus, which is about like a 15, 20 minute walk away. However, I am right next to Newberry Street, which has a bunch of fun shops and restaurants and stuff like that. But 
I have a long champ bag that the zipper is kind of like broken and they have a long champ on Newberry Street. So I might take the walk over, make a little adventure out of it and see if I can get my bag fixed. If not, could just be fun to explore Newberry for a little bit and then head back on over to Northeastern's campus. I don't know when I'll be able to update you guys next, but you'll probably see a nice little montage of Newberry Street or maybe dinner. We'll see. I'm back. It's 8.30 and I feel like it's 2 a.m. with how tired I am. That was a great event. Exactly what I expected it to be. Uh, just a little mixer with some catered dinner. A ton of good food choices. I had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich slider and a little burger slider, some buffalo cauliflower, some veggies. Like they went all out with the catering. Something I really liked is that they had tables with the different engineering majors as like labels on the tables so that you knew everyone standing there at that table had that particular background. Got to talk to a couple new faces, which is always a good time. It's why we go to these things. And because the hotel is such a walk away, I decided to just leave at eight. I don't think there was any like after party or anything going on because we have an early morning tomorrow. So made the like 20 minute walk over to the hotel and now I'm here. I'm so excited to take a shower and get cozy, get into bed and read my book. I think either that or I do want to prepare a little bit for the faculty like meetings that I have tomorrow because it was just released who we're meeting with like a few hours ago. So I definitely want to maybe stalk some of the professor's websites and like lab websites, just so I can ask some lab specific questions tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, after that, I'm gonna fully read, watch TV maybe, get to bed at a good time because I have to get up tomorrow at like probably set. 6.30, 7, I don't know. I wanna be walking to campus by eight at the latest because breakfast and everything starts at 8.30. So that's the plan for now. You know what my next like 12 hours looks like. Let's get to it. day two, AKA the chaotic day of my grad visit Canada days at Northeastern. This is the day that's packed with a bunch of events, faculty meetings, social mixers. It's gonna be a crazy day from 8.30 AM is when the first thing starts all the way up to like 9 PM, which is when our kind of dinner celebration ends. Should be quite interesting. I'm really excited to learn more about Northeastern in the program and I have a great lineup of faculty members that I am meeting with to talk about their research and their labs. I did want to mention too, before I drink it, I brought Magic Mind with me and I have been bringing them with me, stocking them up in my carry-on for all of my grad visit days so far and in the future, I'll be taking it as well. If you haven't heard Magic Mind, it's a little two ounce shot. It's full of nootropics and other ingredients that will help boost your productivity, boost your focus, help you reach that flow state. And those aren't just buzzwords or phrases. Like I can say I've been using it since the start of my school semester in early mid January. And I've completely noticed a difference in my ability to focus and be productive. So with that said, Magic Mind is perfect for these grad visit days because I feel like I can take it and be on top of my game for the whole day. If you do want to try it out, which I highly recommend because who doesn't want to focus more and be more productive? I do have a discount code right here. It's Lauren Abbey 20. And if you use that and go to the top link in the description to order Magic Mind, you can get up to 56% off your order, which is crazy. It's definitely worth it. I highly recommend trying it out. If you do try it out and again, take it pretty consistently for a couple of weeks, if you don't see any differences or effects and you just want to send it back, Magic Mind will refund you 100%, no questions asked. So you do have that to fall back on. But again, I highly recommend. I've definitely seen a difference. And as my viewers, I want to preach things that I think will help your life as well. I think Magic Mind is pretty spectacular. So. Give it a shot. 
no pun intended. I'm gonna down this and then pack up my stuff and head off to campus. I have to put my coffee down so I can have two hands to open this, but oh, make sure to shake it. Cheers to a magic mind. Let's get this day done. The group I was with decided we all wanted to take the subway over to campus, which saved us quite a bit of walking. We rolled right into a delicious breakfast and had our general program overview. This all took place on like the 17th floor of one of their dorm buildings, but the venue was absolutely fantastic. And then it was time to split up into our individual engineering disciplines. So for me, I went off with the chemical engineers and we had program specific events. This included a chemical engineering department overview, looking at the different classes we need to take and the overall requirements for obtaining your PhD at Northeastern. We went into a little bit about the co-ops and internships and even had a chemical engineering grad student panel. They catered lunch for us and I had a grilled lemon chicken sandwich. Up next were the lab tours. So groups of grad students took us out to explore the various labs that we were interested in. We got to go into one of the brand new buildings on campus and it was really cool. That spiral staircase definitely stood out. The lab spaces themselves were also really clean and well stocked, well equipped. So no complaints from me. After that, I had some time to myself to prep for my faculty meetings. I like to go in with just a little bit of background about the faculty member and their research group. Then I had four back-to-back -back meetings, which I obviously don't have any footage for. And then something really special is that the chemical engineering department has a tea time. This is either every week or every day. At 4 p.m., they serve coffee and tea. So we got to take part in that as prospective students. And then a group of grad students walked us on over to our dinner location called The Cheeky Monkey Brewing Co. We had the whole back part of the restaurant and bar to ourselves, and this was pretty sweet. They had pool tables set up. I'm awful at pool, so I just ended up chatting with the friends I'd made, talking with a few more faculty, and of course, having some delicious dinner. Before I knew it, it was time to head back to the hotel. Oh my gosh, that was a day. I'm sure, or I hope, I filled you in on all the events and everything that took place over the course of the past like 12 hours via voiceover because I am in no mental state and have no capacity to properly articulate all the amazing adventures and conversations that I had today. The good or bad news, depending on how you look at it, is is that that's all the programming for the Northeastern grad visit. Still have a pretty fun morning tomorrow. Gonna get up nice and early and get on the train. So I'll definitely continue the vlog for you guys so you can see that Boston to Rhode Island train experience one more time. My social battery right now is at a negative. I loved everyone I met today and again, all the conversations I had. We're incredible, but boy, it's just a lot of talking and a lot of being mentally aware the whole day, like listening and paying attention to what others are saying and asking questions and it definitely adds up. So the rest of the night, I am just gonna veg out exactly what I did last night, except without the stress of an impending busy day. The fun thing is tomorrow I get to go to campus. I thought I was going to be able to take the day off tomorrow from normal schoolwork. And I do, I am missing my morning class, but I have to go on campus to film a little K-12 outreach video thing. So that's going to be in the afternoon. So I have the morning to kind of collect myself and then the afternoon I'll be back on campus filming and then I have lab meeting. So we're right back to it tomorrow. Anyway, I don't know why I'm worried about that right now. I'm going to shower and get cozy and do all those things. I'll probably see you guys in the morning. So I haven't updated you guys at all this morning. It's currently 10.30 and I am back at home. Honestly, it was just a lot of running around. I woke up at around 6.45 and then had left the hotel by 7 15 so i really didn't even i didn't even stop to make a coffee or buy a coffee i was just like head down let's get to south station when i finally got there i decided i wanted a coffee so hit up the duncan inside south station got my go-to coffee order and then waited just a few minutes before getting on the train nothing really to report after that train ride was fine and Back home, I took a nice hot shower. I had all these plans of like going to the gym and being 
slightly more productive once I got home. But honestly, I am feeling really run down and because I have to head to campus in like less than two hours, I think I'm just gonna read or start editing this vlog or the BU vlog and maybe honestly pack for my next grad visit because I am leaving tomorrow morning for Ohio. So look forward, get ready for an Ohio State grad visit vlog. Really, really excited about that. It'll be my first time in Columbus. That is pretty much it for now. I will see you all very soon, literally like seven in the morning tomorrow. So less than 24 hours. This vlog, however, is all done. Northeastern grad visit, check. It was a great time. I got really great vibes from Northeastern and the campus and the faculty. If you guys liked this video and you, and you like these grad visit vlogs, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. And don't forget to check out Magic Mind in the link in the description. Use my code LaurenAbby20, we'll save you some money. Definitely, definitely try it out. If you do, leave a comment down below and I'd love to know what you think. Stay happy, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.